the biographical focus tonight on on Jill and Joe Biden is so emotional. Um, and the, the video presentations in particular that they did talking about that and the personal stuff is so emotional in part because so much of their family history is tied up in really serious, emotionally difficult loss that they are good at talking about. I was 30 and I was a senator and I was a widower. Several years earlier, a tractor trailer broadside my wife and three children. My wife was killed and my daughter was killed. I, I wasn't big on the, the whole date scene thing. But when I met Jill, I fell in love with her when I saw her. When I married Joe, I took off time to establish myself as the boy's mom. We don't use the term stepmother. Bowen Hunt said, no, we have a mom and a mommy. Our mommy died. This is our mom. And then along came Ashley. And uh, our family was complete. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. How are you, you handsome boy? He was born in 15 and uh, with a heart condition, you know, known as transposition of the greater arteries, and ended up requiring a transplant. And thankfully, the ACA had already taken effect. Um, but now that's something that we think about all the time, especially with his coverage, the potential of coverage maxes. And uh, his initial hospital stay was over $3 million that was billed back to the insurance. I remember thinking as Bo lay dying in bed, and we'd sit lie in bed with him, his brother and I and his sister, and thinking to myself, what in God's name would I do if the doctor walked in and said, I'm sorry, you've outrun your insurance, you've reached your cap, suffer the last few months of your life on your own. Hello America. My name is Audie Barkin, and I am speaking to you through this computer voice because I have been paralyzed by a mysterious illness called ALS. Like so many of you, I have experienced the ways our healthcare system is fundamentally broken. Enormous costs, denied claims, dehumanizing treatment when we are most in need. Since my shocking diagnosis, I have traveled the country meeting countless patients like me, demanding more of our representatives and our democracy. Today, we are witnessing the tragic consequences of our failing health care system. In the midst of a pandemic, nearly a hundred million Americans do not have sufficient health insurance. Our loved ones are dying in unsafe nursing homes, our nurses are overwhelmed and unprotected, and our essential workers are treated as dispensable. The fear that you all live in, on, understandably, if somehow tomorrow they said, no insurance, you can't, you, you're not covered, um, is just, uh, is just devastating. Hey, Laura, how are you doing? Yes, you can. How are you doing? Well, you beat Hodgkin's doing lymphoma, well. God love you. But uh, during it all, Trump was trying to rip away your coverage. Uh, the day you got your first chemo, Republicans voted to gut the ACA. Uh, I can't imagine what it must have been like uh, going to sleep at night wondering what to do. Uh, ever since I was diagnosed, every night I'd go to bed concerned about what news I would get in the morning. And even still, even today, they're still trying to take away our health care, even during a pandemic. Look, we're going to make sure we don't lose that ACA. We're going to provide a, a Medicare-like option as a public option in any state where there is a, if you qualify for Medicaid and the state hasn't provided it, you'd automatically be enrolled. I'm gonna protect you like I tried to protect my own family, my own family, and I promise you that. After our son Bo died of cancer, I wondered if I would ever smile or feel joy again. It was summer, but there was no warmth left for me. Four days after Bo's funeral, I watched Joe shave and put on his suit. I saw him steal himself in the mirror, take a breath, put his shoulders back, and walk out into a world empty of our son. He went back to work. That's just who he is. There are times when I couldn't even imagine how he did it, how he put one foot in front of the other and kept going. 
but I've always understood why he did it. For the daughter who convinces her mom to finally get a breast cancer screening and misses work to drive her to the clinic. For the community college student who has faced homelessness and survived abuse, but finds the grit to finish her degree and make a good life for her kids. For the little boy whose mom is serving as a Marine in Iraq, who puts on a brave face in his video call and doesn't complain when the only thing he wants for his birthday is to be with her. Los puertorriqueños somos ciudadanos estadounidenses. Algo que Donald Trump parece haber olvidado en los momentos más difíciles. A year ago, my safe community of El Paso was targeted by a domestic terrorist who murdered 23 innocent people, injured 23 more, and devastated all of us. His motive was racism and xenophobia. In the face of hate, we choose love. Siempre lo hemos hecho, siempre lo haremos. Three years ago, my beloved city, Charlottesville, Virginia, was attacked by white supremacists and a young woman was killed. We were attacked again when Donald Trump praised those racists, turning his back on a community that just wanted peace. Sé que es la mejor alternativa para que los sobre 3 millones de ciudadanos americanos que recibimos esta bendita isla de Puerto Rico podamos ser respetados. Puerto Rico emite 5 votos para Bernie Sanders y 53 votos para Joe Biden. Delaware is proud to cast its 32 votes for our favorite son and our next president. Our friend, Delaware, Joe Biden. And 161 votes for our next president, Joe Biden. And 91 votes for our president, Joe Biden. 57 votes for Joe Biden. And 277 for our next president, Joe Biden. It's Joe time. Well, thank you very, very much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all. It means the world to me and my family, and I'll see you on Thursday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.